Today, I'm giving you an exclusive look at the all new 2024 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 2. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and I am so excited to show you this all new vehicle. In fact, as far as I'm aware, this is the world's first lowered Ford Mustang for the 2024 model year. So let's jump in and show you what you get when you order the all new Mustang RTR Spec 2. Before we jump into the specifics of what RTR has done to this Mustang, let's tell you how you get a hold of one. Number one, you have to find an RTR dealer. Shameless plug, we are now an RTR dealer and I'm super excited to offer that. So if you want one, just give us a call. We'll walk you through the process. It's very easy. Now, the cool thing is there's two ways to get one of these things built. Right now, or at launch, the dealer that is an RTR dealer will actually be doing the conversion for you. And that process will start as early as August, 2023. Now, starting in January, Ford is going to be giving RTR a bailment of inventory to convert these things right out of the gate. And so, you know, basically Town & Country and TC Customs is not going to be doing the kits for very long. But if you want one of those very, very early orders, reach out to us. And the cool thing is, is we can actually show you videos and photos of your vehicle getting customized right here at the dealership. The front end is primarily where you're going to see a whole lot of changes on this Mustang compared to a factory Mustang. The first thing you'll notice is you have the iconic RTR upper and lower grills. Now, what I like about this upper grill is you've got this LED surround. That's pretty much what RTR is known for is these LED lights. Now, the cool part about this version is it's actually got three rows of LED lights. It kind of looks like uh, back to the future, like flux capacitor kind of things. But I absolutely love the way this thing looks like on the front. But I absolutely love the way that this front end looks, especially with those LEDs. Now, as I've already mentioned to you, upper and lower grill, you also have the chin splitter up front. And the other thing you have are these side corner grills on either side. Now, the fun fact for you is that the driver's side is actually functional. It allows air to be entered in. But the passenger side, for some reason, Ford Motor Company put the PCM of the vehicle directly behind that passenger side vent. So basically, I guess what I'm saying is if you get in a fender bender in any 2024 Mustang, your vehicle is going to be rendered useless until you can get you a new PCM. RTR has also upgraded the heat extractor in the front end of this hood as well. So it allows more heat to exit the vehicle. And I think it also looks really, really cool because it is very aggressive. I mean, you can just about stick half of your hand inside of these holes here. But the other thing I want to point out to you, the graphics that you find here on the hood and also running down the side of the vehicle are standard equipment. It is not an option. Every single RTR spec two is going to have the same graphics. Another standard feature is going to be the banner running across the top of the windshield. The wheels on this car look absolutely amazing. These are the RTR Aero 5 wheels. Now, the cool thing is there's a lot of different options for wheel and tire choices here. But first off, let's talk about the tires. These are Nitto 555s. They're G2s, and these are going to be 275 for the front and the rear. This is going to be a squared setup from the factory, and the hope is, is there's going to be a staggered setup later on in the future. Now, the cool thing is if they are able to do the staggered setup, you're going to be looking at likely a 305 rear tire for that staggered setup. It's going to look absolutely amazing. Now, one of the ways that they're able to accomplish this amazing stance is going to be based on the suspension itself. Now, there is going to be a full suspension system on this vehicle. So they're calling their full tactical suspension and it comes with lowering springs, adjustable struts, adjustable shocks, and an adjustable sway bar to make sure that you can take this thing right off of the street and straight onto the track. On the side of the vehicle, you've got the iconic RTR badging for the fender. And you've also got upgraded side skirts as well. Now, I talked a little bit earlier about the graphics package on the hood. This is what it looks like on the passenger side and uh, as well as all the driver's side as well. They're calling this their speed block graphics setup. And as I mentioned to you earlier, it is completely standard in every RTR spec too. The rear end of this vehicle is one of my favorite components of the RTR, and that is primarily going to be this Duckabill spoiler. I love the fact that it's got this wing that goes up. I'm normally not a huge spoiler kind of a guy, but what I've been told is this system is really easy to set it up and swap it out to a different spoiler. From what I've been told, roughly 20 minutes and you can take this thing out, swap it out, do whatever you need to for the track. And the other cool thing is the graphics roll into the actual rear quarter panels as well. And speaking of rear quarter panel, you've also got a set of rear quarter panel skirts that are also found standard on this particular vehicle. At this angle, you can really see one of the biggest design changes from the Ford Mustang in general. And I think RTR plays into it perfectly. You'll notice how this deck lid goes in really hard and then it starts to come back out. What RTR has done is they've replaced 
even all the way, not just the spoiler, but all the way down into here. And I think that that geometry looks absolutely amazing. You also have an updated RTR badge located in that rear deck lid as well. If this particular spoiler is not your jam, that's okay because RTR is also developing a gurney flap that'll be bolted directly onto the performance pack wing that you can get directly from Ford. You'll notice this exhaust system on this RTR is bone stock and there's a good reason for that. RTR is going to be developing an exhaust system that is compatible with the GT performance pack. Something you may not know is the GT Performance Pack will have quad exhaust tips. The non-performance pack, which is what you see here, is only going to have dual exhaust tips. So if you're wanting an RTR with an aftermarket exhaust, you might want to consider an aftermarket exhaust if that is something that you absolutely have to have. The good news is the Mustang sounds fantastic from the factory, just not loud enough. The interior of the RTR Spec 2 is going to be upfitted with a weighted shifter ball, not only just for the manual transmission, but for the automatic as well, and I think it looks fantastic. You obviously get upgraded RTR floor mats as well as a dash plaque that shows the serial number and it's also got Von Gittin Jr.'s name stamped into that badge. I think it's also worth noting that Von Gittin Jr. and Chelsea helped Ford co-engineer the drift stick that comes standard in the Mustang GT. And there you go. That is our very first look at the RTR Spec 2 and this thing turned out amazing. Huge thanks to RTR and Von Gittin Jr., the whole team, for inviting me out to today's event in Orlando, Florida. If you're interested in ordering one of these, you know what to do. Give us a call right there on the screen, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.